Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tanya, Side Gig Crafts, and I've got some uh, tags to make today. Thought I'd bring you along, <laughs> as always. Um, it's Tuesday. It's not Tuesday when I'm filming this, but it is Tuesday when I'm posting it, so good enough. <laughs> So I've got some um, some things here. I'm kind of trying to do some shabby chic Christmas kind of stuff. Uh, I've got some swaps and things that I want to do. And so I need to uh, get started on that. So let's start with, oh shoot, how do I want to do this? I think I'm just going to use, I'm not going to use Mod Podge because that takes way too long to dry. We're just going to use regular paper, regular glue. I've got some crackle paste over here. I've got some um, texture paste. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna use yet. I wanna do some stamping on here. I wanna do some splatters on here. All kinds of mixed media fun, goody stuff. So stick around if that's kind of for you. I really enjoy it. And we're just gonna start with this. I wanna use this paper up. This is a paper from my scraps. It's obviously a large scrap. And I think it's the only one I have. And I think it is gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Trim that off right there. Ooh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today before work. This is my before work crafting sesh. We'll keep that little piece just in case we need it for something. But I ha realized I had some time. I do want to keep my, um, I guess it's good enough keep my my what can I, I I can't think my clock on or nearby so that I can continue to see what time it is so I'm not late for work so that I'm making a master board now to and then I'm going to cut it into several tags probably three you know probably be about that tall um, but I'm going to do some pasting and stuff on here so that I can I can use the extra for something else too so I have White huckle. Can I use my heat gun or with this? I don't remember. I don't think I can. I think this is the one I can't use heat with, but I can't not with the crackle paste. Um, but I can with this one. So I want to do. I want to do some stamping. I'm gonna to have to do stamping before I do that and splatters as well because this will not work. It won't work the other way around because it'll have texture at that point. So let's get out the stamp we want to use. I would like to use my music stamp. I love this stamp, especially for Christmas and the holidays. And you can see I kind of tend to use that corner of it <laughs> a lot. This is one of my faves. And we're just gonna kind of put this everywhere doesn't need to be perfect but we should be able to see it right because you can't see that I'm gonna do some going this direction some going that direction remember my this is gonna be just this is a master board right now we'll go over that spot again even if it's not quite right even if it's just a hint of music showing up through there that's okay too Plenty of design, hopefully. It always throws me off when I hear the neighbor's dog barking. He's gotta be, he's about the same size as my um, Gretchen is, and their bark is similar. And being far enough away, um, I can't tell if it's the neighbor dog or if my dog has gotten out. But my dog was the only one with that kind of bark for the longest time. These are new neighbors, so I have to get used to their bark across the street. Gretchen's sitting right next to me, so I know she's fine, but it throws me off every time. I've got this one, too. This is the um, a postal, uh, like a postcard. So why did I put my stamp thing, stamp pad away? I like using this one, too. I love the print. I don't necessarily care for the... Um, postage part on all of it, but I like the print on it. And 
And again, it adds something extra. So I'll just kind of go in there with it. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna do that over that one. There we go. That's really adding something to it. Okay. There's that. And I want to do some splatters. We can use the heat gun with that. Ooh, I'll have to plug that in somehow. I, is it plugged in? I don't know. Let me see if I can reach it and plug it. Reach it and plug it. So I wanted to make some tags for Tag Tuesday. I think these are going to be really gorgeous. I'm going to need them anyway. So why not? Are you guys Christmas crafting yet? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm probably yelling into my phone right now. So I'm standing up above it, trying to plug this in. And oh, I'm messing up my whole situation here. Are you guys Christmas crafting? I have definitely obviously begun. I am over the Halloween videos. Um, nothing against Halloween. <laughs> My brain is just done with Halloween. I'm ready to move on. So here's the thing with this. I want to make these tags going this way, I believe. So I kind of need to go this way and I only want to go on a part of this because I can put a uh, some decoration down here. So I think that is where we're going to go with it. Okay. I can turn off my glue gun because I don't think I'm going to need that at this point. I don't know what I'm putting on it, but I won't be decorating to them today. We're just going to do the base today. I hope that's okay with you guys. You know, I take forever and spend a lot of time on these and I don't have time to edit today. We're just gonna, it's just going to be a craft with me kind of day. My yucky palette knife that I should have been better about cleaning, but wasn't. Maybe I'll soak that one of these days and get some of that paste off. But for now, that's what we've got. It will still work just fine, I believe. We're gonna use this Distress Grit Paste. This is the opaque, so that we'll be able to see it. I'm hoping, well, it looks like we're not using this today. Doggone. I wonder if I can bring this back to life. All right, well, hopefully we'll have some luck with something else. How about, oh, I hope that's not ruined forever. This is still, well, this is crackle paste though. I can't use that today. Um, I mean, I might use crackle paste and then just work on something else and let it know because, well, yeah, well, I could. We could. Okay, we'll just plan our project different because this one is still wet. I had lost that grit paste. I couldn't, oh, it's not still wet. <gasps> no. interesting texture. This is not going to work today. Oh no. I hope all my supplies aren't all ruined. Hang on. There was an opaque grit paste. Can I use that one? Maybe. This one's still sealed. I never even used this one. So let's open this one up and see how it works out. What a bummer. I'm gonna have to see if I can fix those. If anybody has any uh, any ideas how to fix those, please tip. Well, that's interesting. You saw the seal on it, but it wasn't sealed and it looks like it's been used. How is that possible? It's odd. Okay, well, it's something. Let's put that on here and see how it turns out because all my other materials apparently are no bueno. I hope that, that lifting does not ruin what I've got going on here. Like I said, I've not used, the, I don't remember using this paste. I mean, it looks like I did, but I just took the wrapping off of it. How's that possible? So we'll see how this works. Let's 
move that extra off here. Hopefully I didn't get that on too heavy. Burp. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it'll dry that way. Let's do it again. So obviously this is gonna look different than I'd intended or expected. That's okay, you know what? We use what we have, right? And oh, I'm bummed. That stuff's not cheap. Not cheap at all. You know I'm gonna need some too. It's funny when I get oops, when I get a toy like that. <laughs> I play with it for a while and then forget about it. And then I come back to it and it's like, no, I wanted that. <laughs> That's okay. I should have taken better care of my toys. This is looking really cool though. It's looking really, really cool. And when I cut the tags, like I said, I wanna leave a little bit of the brown at the top so that that kind of carries over, but I don't want it textured all the way down anyway. I think I do want to go a little lower on this one. Right, I'll take better care of my toys. I will. I really, really will. There's that one. Okay, let's peel this up. That looks really awesome. I'm gonna lay this down. Where am I gonna lay that down? Right there on that plastic. Okay, let's see about warming this up a little bit. Turning out, that is so cool. <clears throat> okay, did that help it dry a little bit? At least a little for now. Wipe that up. I don't expect it to be to completely dry. That wasn't very long. So, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I want to take, let's see, because, well, yeah, it's not dry, which is fine. Um, I'm antsy because I'm not sure what to do and I don't want to mess it up. But I can cut, ooh, maybe not. It sticks up too far to stick through here, so I'm not going to do that yet. It's still too wet. Okay, what's my next step? I can't splatter yet because the water and wet paste is not gonna go very well. But what I could do, I could use some distress ink and start distressing a little bit. Can't do edges, but I can get up in here a little bit. Just kind of add a little zhuzh of distress here and there. I can do that. My paste goes there, so I don't want to go too far up on that. Okay, I can add some crackle paste to it. See how this is, this is just worn out because I use it all the time. 
and drop it. It's it's true. I I have dropped it. You guys see? I know that this is hard to see. We could make um, some quick embellishments, maybe for. Oops, there's. I had some paste there. Maybe some quick embellishments, or maybe. Maybe I can hit it with the gun again. Let's try again. Just trying to dry it so I can work with it some more. So you can really see, you can see the texture. Let's put it in the sunshine. It's actually is coming up more transparent once it's um, once it's dry. Look, you can hardly actually see the color on that one. So some of these are still a little bit wet, but you can definitely see the texture on there, which is really cool because you can see the print underneath, which is what, you know, transparent or translucent means, right? So that grit paste that's gonna have the texture on it, but you're not gonna be able to see it. So here's my thought. Let's put, a little bit of this gilding wax, just kind of, will it stick on there? I think it will. Not really though, it's not really, it's not really making a difference and I can tell, a little bit. It's adding a little bit of something to it. Not much, but you know what? That's okay, it's something. It'll bring it, it'll help it pop just a little bit. And it'll have some shimmer to it, which is cool. A little shabby chicness. Right. Okay, I'm starting to see it now. I don't know if you guys can in the camera, but I am starting to see it. So that's good. Okay, that's cool. Now let's do, we're gonna need that some more. I think I'm gonna also do it just a little bit. I'm not gonna add any ink to my, to my brush here, but I'm gonna go over it. Again, just to add a little bit of interest, if it, any of that ink comes off on there, it'll make it a little bit more visible. So I think this is dry enough to cut now. I can see the lines where the where the stencil was, so those would be my cut lines. And I want to go. Let's see. This is eight and a half inches long. It's way too long. We're gonna go to. I think we're gonna go to seven. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to seven and a half. I'm gonna cut a half inch off the bottom. That should be a really good size, don't you think? Okay, so a half inch off the bottom, so eight. And seven. Eight and seven. 
All right, so we've got these really cool strips we can use for something else. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that neat? Okay, I'll have to get the gold off my fingers before I go to work, won't I? All right, let's work with these though today. And once again, I'm not going to do all the decorating. I do want to put the angle on them for a tag. So we're going to eyeball the first one. Flip that over. That was this way. So we'll flip it back this way. And then we can just use this one as our template. These are nice. I like that a lot. Oops, this one's not as wide for some. Oh, that's right. That's fine. Okay. Get rid of our corners. We don't need those. Although they would make good photo corners, but we can't keep everything, can we? All right. So there we go. Now, I do want to round the bottom corners of these because I like the way that looks a little softer what do you guys think so far we still got to do our splatters I should probably do white splatters but I don't have any white mixed up and I do have black so we're just gonna do black splatters I'm gonna have to mix up some white all right we're gonna go there I'm going to be daring today and not cover my coffee. <laughs> We're just going to splatter away. Mm. Okay. I just want tiny ones. Isn't it amazing what difference that makes when with splatters on there? Just a little bit of something. Oops, got on my coffee cup. I knew it would. Yeah, and I know I should have probably done white, but um, this is what we've got. We're using what we've got. out of the way so it doesn't get ruined. dry not completely but mostly and I think what I might have to do you guys I want to put some um I've got a lot of really cool Christmas die cuts let's wipe off my coffee cup um in my stash and I would like to put something Christmassy on there I'd also like to make some labels so I might have to do this in sections I probably will and finish these up but um, for now let's do the edges let's put that up do what we can for now I don't have those things made up so I'll probably do it 
either in parts or we'll just, I'll just glue it, glue the videos together, depending how long they are. <laughs> or maybe, maybe we'll do this part today and we'll do finish it Friday. We'll have the second part of the video. That could work too. So let's do what we can for now. And these, like I said, these are mostly done. So let's go ahead and distress the outer edges. We're gonna poke holes and put the um, punch at the top. So let's see if I have any good stories for you. Um, nope. <laughs> it's been a quiet week. Uh, work is work and you know that's always exciting and some of you are new and i do want to welcome all my new subscribers i'm very very excited we've hit 700 subscribers now hopefully they'll stick because i had 702 yesterday and there's 701 if you don't watch somebody um a certain amount of time i think it's like four minutes or something they'll fall off your subscription list or so if you um make sure if you guys want to stay subscribed to somebody you watch them you know several times comment definitely interact with their page because otherwise they'll fall off your list you won't see them so um i did have somebody fell off and that's okay you know we all have different things and as time changes we decide certain channels aren't for us that's okay to be honest with you right now, I haven't watched a lot of the haul videos because I'm trying not to shop. So it's very tempting and I always see things I want. And I'm like, ooh, I need to go check that out. They're having a sale. And then I go spend money I shouldn't be spending. And um, I'm trying really hard not to do that. So I haven't been watching a lot of those channels or those videos just for that reason. It's not because I don't like the crafters. It's not because I don't like what they're doing. I do, it's just that I'm trying not to shop. A vacation coming up, so I'll have time off, which means I'm not working, which means I need to save some money to make sure I can pay my bills and don't get myself in a bad spot. You know, all that good stuff. And I'll need money on my, make, on my vacation too. So I'm trying not to spend it beforehand. All right, so there we go, those are that. That is those, those are that, that is those. Now, I do wanna put a little bit more gilding paste around the edges. I love the way it looks. Call me crazy. Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, see how that just brings out a little spark of something. It's just gorgeous. You guys, I love this paste. This, um, I've had this for over a year. I mean, I think I've used quite a bit of it. I don't know. It, it's um, it, it's it's in a lot of my projects. You'll see me using this all the time. I really love it. Uh, I know that there's other brands out there. I know there's other textures and, and different things. This one has worked really, really well for me. I haven't tried any of the others, but I absolutely love this one. It's just beautiful. love this. I'm really loving it. Gosh, I'm not going to want to give these away. I think it'd be very beautiful with a, um, oh, some poinsettias, maybe some pink poinsettia on there or Christmas tree. It's going to be a shabby shaky kind of thing though. It's going to have to be. Beautiful. Isn't that amazing? Do you guys use this wax or do you use gilding wax? Do you guys use metallics in your in your crafts like this? Similar or some other way? Oops, I put a little too much, but that's all right. It won't hurt. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm over the moon. All right, now let's get this gold off my finger. 
like I said, we're not going to do, I'm not going to do the decorations in this video because it would take way too long and we've got stuff to do. I mean, it's a day, right? And so we'll do this. And we're going to, we, I said we're going to punch the holes, put the eyelets in there. My glue gun is off. Good. You don't know how many times, you guys, that I have gone to work and come home or woken up in the morning and my glue gun is still on. What color... What color eyelash should I use? I think I might actually have pink ones. Um, I know I do have some colors. What do I have? I forget that I have these up here. Where's that drawer? Is that them? Nope. There they are. Pink? Let's use pink. I use this pink? Yes. Or this pink. I like them both. I like them both. I think I'm going to go with the light pink, actually. I don't know why, but I think I'm going with the light pink. Let's put those through. Yep, I love it. What do you guys think? I do need to tighten that up a little bit. Sometimes I don't squeeze just hard enough. Gosh, these turned out even better than I would planned. But I'm gonna be looking to figure out what to put on them. I know that I actually have this raffia sitting on my desk. I think we should use that for the tie, to put the little tie on there. This is, we're done with this for now. I can go that far. Because I think that kind of goes with our theme. Don't you think so? I'll put some of the raffia on there, just a little. Just a little. Kind of rustic, kind of fancy, kind of you know, a little bit, a little bit of something, something. Could always put ribbon or, or something in there too, but this is going to be pretty. That will be pretty. There we go. And then we can go back in and just kind of split these. Not too much, but at least some. Should I cut them shorter? Do we like that? What do you guys think? Yeah, no. We'll decide later. I don't think I'm going to do the other ones because I might change my mind. Sometimes if I walk away from a project and come back, if I'm questioning it, I'll know. I did some ornaments like that last night and I was like, I don't know if I like this. And I came back this morning. I'm like, yeah, no, I think I'm going to do it this way instead. So this is it for today. We're going to leave these as they are for now. We've got some beautiful tags. This is the base of them. And we are going to be working on these later on. But this is a good start for Tag Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys will come back and watch the second part of the project where we do the decorating and have a little fun with that. For now, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy it. Make the best of it. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one. Bye-bye.